Is it a hobby? Is it a business? Are they investments? That is up to each person individually. I see people saying cards are not investments. So I looked up the definition of investment. I can clearly tell you cards can be investments. You might not look at them as investments for yourself, but cards can be an investment. Hey everyone, hope everything's going well. You guys and gals know that drill. Smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't, and comment down below. Follow me on Instagram at AIH underscore sports. Follow me on my finance channel at AIH Finance. So I wanted to uh, mention this. Uh, number one, I just posted a clip of Jeremy Lee. Jeremy Lee asked a question or was discussing our sports card investments. He said that, hey, they could be. Now, when I came into sports cards again in 2018, I was thinking, hey, look, the cards aren't overly expensive. And on top of it, this could be a potential investing opportunity. Now, I was thinking this could be a long term play because I did see some of the older individuals in the hobby. They're saying that, hey, look, you know, you could get a 10 to 20 percent return. You know, that's decent on a card. So I'm thinking, okay, you know, Fed's going to print money. That should definitely benefit cards, you know, next five to 10 years. Now, then we had the pandemic, everything shut down, money printing like crazy from the Fed, and the cards went insane. So I had to unload some of the cards that I planned on holding for 10 years, and I got rid of them, what, within one, two, three years? Do I hold some of those cards still? Yeah. But the vast majority of those cards I have gotten rid of, right? And then I just, you know, bought some cards from my collection here and then bought some small or low-ended cards over the past year. Now, in terms of being an investment, I was saying, hey, you know, sports cards are investments. Depends on which sports cards you're into, though. Now, my mind has changed and this is through, you know, doing a bunch of videos over the past couple of years and articles that I saw in the Chicago Tribune that I've highlighted early last year, which some people haven't watched. But the thing is that sports cards are, in my opinion, as of this moment, store of value, just like I consider gold. It's more of a store of value. Do I speculate in gold and silver stocks? Yes. Do I speculate in some sports cards? Yes. But to call this an investment as of this moment, I, I I wouldn't call it too much of an investment, to be honest. And the reason is, these cards have gone up significantly. I'll tell you, one of these Mahomes cards, said this in a video many times, I got a $100 or $130 card, 2017 Optic Hollow PSA 10, and... In what 2021, I decided to sell it at 3,700 bucks. That wasn't actually the peak. The peak was in February of 2021, around 6,500 to 7,700 bucks. I think when Mahomes played Brady in the Super Bowl, I think that was the peak. But you know, these returns are crazy. You're talking about what return did I get? What close to a 25 fold return, whatever the amount is, that's crazy in a two year span. And now I'm not confident that I could replicate that same type of situation. And it just like gold and silver, right? A lot of people talk, hey, this could be an uh, investment opportunity. Okay, sure, to a certain degree. But if you're talking about uh, comparing it to the year 2000, where gold was, what, a couple hundred bucks, and now it's, what, $2,000, at that point, that was an investment. Right now, I consider it to be a store of value. And that's what this uh, collectibles uh, hobby is right now. These are stores of value, and people are trying to turn these into some sophisticated investment. Now, some people will be able to make a decent amount of money. I think there are strategies that people can you know, make money flipping can make money, you know, buying a card bra, maybe getting it autographed and then getting it slabbed and then selling it. I think there are ways to do it, right? Buying collections, 60, 70% on the dollar. There are ways, but 
This is not 2018 anymore. It's not 2016, 2017, where you had Gary V and all the new money coming into the hobby. So I wanted to hear your thoughts. Anyways, guys and gals, let me know what you think. Remember to smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't, comment down below. Thank you. Bye.